Hey guys, before you start this video, I'd like to make this clear. This video is based off of the series, The School for Good and Evil. If you've never read it or don't know what it's about, this video is going to make no sense. You can still watch it because it's spoiler free, but it's not going to make any sense. Those of you who are still watching because you have read at least one of the books, um, I've been keeping something from you guys um, a couple months ago. I sent an application to apply for the School for Good and Evil and I got accepted as a never and I have been at the school since then and I've been hiding that in my videos because I was afraid that people would be jealous so this video obviously isn't fake. I am a never and it is the Sophie era so I that's why I am dressed up. The old nevers used to have to be ugly, but now we can still be beautiful and still be trained to be villains. So in the next famous fairy tale, I will be the villain in that because I am training and I am the top never at the evil school. And I am so blessed to meet Sophie because she is my favorite character ever and it is so great to meet her in person. So again, this video obviously isn't fake. This video obviously is fake, but let's pretend it's not. Pretend I really am a never. Most of the information in this video is based off of this book. I found most of the things in here, so most of these are actually accurate to what it would be like at the School for Evil, because I found most of this stuff, like the food and all that, and classes in the Ever Never Handbook. Those of you who don't believe that I am at the School for Evil. Here is my application. Here's what I filled out for my application, my name, my address, um, my educational highlights. I mean, who knows the school better than me? I've read the whole series twice. And my most in my person is Sophie. My favorite book, obviously, The School for Good and Evil. Um, my favorite animal is a polar bear. So that's the animal I want to become. And then if you were marooned on a desert island, what three things would you take? I'd take the first three books. And reasons for wanting to attend the school evil because I know I'll make a great villain. And I was accepted, as you can see, by Dean Sophie. Right there, there's the proof. So I start out my day by changing my pajamas into my school uniform. And after this, I'm gonna put on makeup since it's the Sophie era. But it's not your average makeup that the Evers wear. It's not pink pastel. It's a lot cooler than that. So for breakfast, we ate broccoli because basically all we eat is greens at the school for nevers. And then after that, I went to my first class, which is Hort of Bloodbrook, and he teaches history of villains. And I got to see the Vera of Woods Beyond, and aka that is thorns that blinded Rapunzel's prince. Now I'm in my second class of the day, which is curses and death traps, and that is taught by the one and only Dean Sophie of Woods Beyond and I'm about to show you what we are learning about in our books when Dean Sophie walks away. Um, here it goes. Here you guys are going to get to see the Krog because that is what we are learning about and we are basically learning how to make a death trap with the help of the Krog because it's the friend of evil. Excuse that. That was my phone. Um, I'm not supposed to have that at the school for nevers, but I have it anyways because I'm a never and I don't follow rules. But anyways, don't tell Dean Sophie. So yep, that's just me studying more about the Krog and there's some more facts about the Krog and that's basically what we did the whole class period. So for lunch, we had the same thing we had for breakfast, which we have almost every meal. 
And then after that, I went to my third and last class of the day. Um, this is taught by Caster, and it's henchman training, and I love it because I can't wait for my fluffy cat to be my hench. Man, but this class didn't end well because I had my cat bite someone because it's just as evil as me, and that resulted in me getting sent to the doom room with this scary animal right here, and... Um, this is its cage and that is where it tortures the students and I'm not going to show any of that because it's just ugly and no one should have to see that. So after that terrible experience I went to my room and I looked over the Curses the Musical because I want to audition to be Sophie and yeah I'm very excited about it trying out for it because I know I will make the perfect Sophie. Here is me showing you guys some of the stuff I was looking over for the musical. And again, our dinner was no surprise. That was the dinner. I decided to walk around the school after dinner and show you guys what it looked like. I ventured over to the good side to show you guys some of their stuff and I just got to the white swan when I got caught by the gargoyles and that's obviously a gargoyle it's not a pig or anything I promise and they got angry because they guard the castles and I wasn't supposed to be over there so I got sent to the dorm the doom room again I wish it was just my dorm no it was the doom room and again I'm not going to show what actually happened there I'm just going to show you guys the room because it's so terrible and scary and no one should see that after that I went back to my room and I worked on some potions to poison uh, ever when the next time I'm bored and need some Thing mischievous to do and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my life is like as a never